Frontline health care workers are taking serious precautions not only to keep themselves safe, but their families as well. Lisa Newberger is an ICU nurse at Fairview Ridges Hospital in Burnsville. She's been living in a camper in a family member's driveway. Our Aaron Hassansa has spoke with her about the tough decision to self-isolate and what the police department is doing to accommodate her. 25 days. That's how long ICU nurse Lisa Newberger has been living in this camper. It's how long she's been separated from her 11 year old son who lives in this house that she used to live in with her former in laws. This camper is the epitome of sacrifices healthcare workers are making every day. It's frustrating. I just want to come home and cuddle with my son and help him with his schoolwork. That's all online. It's been very difficult. It was easier just to live at my parents' house, but I didn't. I, I would have never lived with myself if my mom got it. Newberger says the breaking point that pushed her to move out of the house and into this camper was when she was directly exposed to a COVID patient at work. She was scared to give it to her family. Now, technically, living in a camper like this is against city ordinance in St. Paul Park. And after police received a complaint about it, Newberger's in laws, the owners of the home, were sent a written notice that they had two weeks to fix it. But I spoke with the St. Paul Park Police Chief Jessica Danberg. She says she's going to make an exception and allow Newberger to continue living in the camper now that she's aware of why she was living there. Newberger says her plan is to eventually move into her own place, but for now, she's relieved she'll be able to stay here. It's been a hard month. All the changes at work, it just constantly scared that you're going to bring something home. So this gave me peace of mind until all this happened. The police chief tells me exceptions like this will be made on a case by case basis, but that any frontline health care workers choosing to self isolate this way will be allowed to do so in the city of St. Paul Park. Reporting in St. Paul Park, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News.